further. So let us start with topic 4 of Node MCU. In this topic, we're gonna learn about static IP. So you have got the IP address. What is IP address? It is basically the connection what we make through the Wi-Fi of the smartphone and the hotspot of the uh, Node MCU or the reverse. It's the connection address what we make. So we can just change the connection address or we can modify the connection address. So how we'll do this? Let us see. So first of all, there are several steps which need to be followed once again that you need to just switch on the hotspot of your smartphone and you need to note down the username and password in your smartphone hotspot. So now let's code it. So here we have written the code. So in this code, first of all, we have to include the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library. And then we have several IP address data types. That is static IP. We have the gateway. We have the subnet. These are the IP address which we define to be changed. We just write the IP addresses to be changed over here. Now over here and over here, the subnet. So what is this all about? Static IP is a address. Gateway is a channel and subnet there are in a gateway. There are sub, sub, several subnets. So subnet is this part is the defining which subnet out of the biggest channel, which channel we need to send this IP address. So I hope you understand what is static IP. What is gateway and what is the subnet? So over here we begin with the normal code of Wi-Fi connections to layer. We just what we do. We just begin the Wi-Fi. So over here we disconnect the previous connections right over here. And then we print that we are starting the statements and then we begin with the uh, ID and password. So I have my ID over here, techcat, and the password over here is 123 at the rate techcat. So I have my ID password. You just put your own ID password. So over here, we are just checking that if the status is WL connected or not. When it is WL connected, it will just move out of this and come to over here that is connected. It will print. It will print the local IP and the local IP over here. This is wifi.localip, which will print the local IP. To print the gateway, we need to write this much line over here, wifi.gateway.toString.c underscore str function. And to print the host name, what is the host name? What is the name of the board? That is the host name. To print the host name, we need to write Wi-Fi dot host name. Now, after this, we get all these things. What we printed over here is the by default generated IP gateway and host name by the board and the smartphone. But to configure our what we have set over there, uh, over here, static IP gateway and subnet, we need to just Wi-Fi dot config over here and we will write IP and then gateway and then subnet in this sequence. And if we want to change the host name, we will write Wi-Fi dot host name and we will give the new host name what we want in double quotes. Once we are done with this, we'll provide a delay so that it gets some certain time to just change the configurations. Once the configuration is changed, we can print local IP, new local IP actually, Wi-Fi dot local IP new gateway the similarly what we printed the gateway previously and the new host name so nothing will be there in the loop part everything will be there in the setup part so we have done with this now few steps to follow tools port yak port is selected go to the upload speed get your upload speed is maximum and now check which board we are using in the lower bottom over here we are using node mcu that's correct and now we'll just press upload over here. So let's wait once it gets uploaded. Uh, now it's compiling. So let it compile. So 
So now we started uploading the board and it's done uploading. We'll straight away move to the serial monitor and there is a clock going on, going on, going on. If it's continuously moves on, you just check on that your hotspot in the mobile phone is on or not. Once it is gets connected, it prints the local IP over here, which was the by default local IP, the gateway, which is the by default gateway, the host name, which is the board by default host name. And now the after the configuration, whatever we made over here, static IP, you just see over here, whatever we made over here, static IP, it's same over here. You find now gateway, you've just match out. This is the same. And the host name, what we created over here, right over here, is same as the host name which is showing. So this is what static IP all about. We can create an IP address and we can change the by default IP address through this. So with this, we end this video. Let us move to the next video with certain other levels of programming. Thank you.